Yes, I was encouraged to do so by my father. Uh, most Muslim parents will want their children to uh, get a good understanding of the religion, the Quran, the Hadith, the life of the Prophet wasalam, And that is why it is good and I want to advise state governments, federal government, uh, to allow Christian children to study the Bible very well. Allow Muslim children to study the Quran very well and understand it. There should be provision for teachers of Arabic and Islamic studies, provision for don't Christian, have that. Christian religion. They, they don't. They don't. In, I would say they so have, in have ten, ten 10% in most you schools. Not have enough. I, do, I won't call it not enough. They don't. You see, when you look at it, you find that they have in about 20%, particularly in the Southwest. They so don't have. Saying some of the I, let me finish. They don't have happening. IRK teachers. They don't have Arabic teachers. And when we ask for Arabic teachers and IRK teachers, we are told no. They are not teaching science. They are not teaching technology. It's not technology and science alone that will build a nation. There is morality. Well, the accountants are there. The auditors are there. What are they doing with all the fraud? Who is we're causing the up fraud? To that now. We're waking up to that. We are not. That's essential. We are pardoning those who, 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 who committed the greatest fraud against this country. Who are and those that, people? Like Alamias here. I don't think that is, you see, and that is the, that's, that's a great problem. We have a burden of morality on our, on our hands now. By pardoning Alamias here, I don't think that should have happened for any reason at all. And I don't know how that man could walk into Senate and say he has won an election. I know they will vote for him in his constituency, but do Nigerians accept him?